All right, thanks for watching. And you're probably wondering, can a disk ever be a square? And indeed it can, if you consider a different metric in R2. Uh, because, because for the usual metric, if you take R2, D2, and um, you consider where D2 is just a usual distance function, x1, x2, y1, y2, uh, equals square root of y1 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus x2 squared. In this case, you can show indeed that the ball centered at 0, 0 and radius 1, which again is just a set of points y1, y2, where the distance between uh, y1, y2 and 0, 0 it's less than uh, 1, so your open ball, then you can really show using a very easy calculation that this does become just a ball or the disk centered at 0, 0 and radius 1. However, how about we consider other kinds of distances? For instance, one thing that I like, it's called the Manhattan metric or the taxicab metric. So consider the following one, d1 of x1, x2 and y1, y2. But this time just the sum of the distances, y1 minus x1 plus y2 minus x2. In other words, if you consider the length, if you consider a triangle, let's say, with, uh, verdi with um, hypotenuse at x1, x2, and y1, y2, then this distance is just saying, add up the lengths of each leg of the triangle. So this is d1. And again, it's called the Manhattan metric because in general, if you take a cab in Manhattan, it cannot just uh, crash, crash into a building. It usually goes one block to the right and one block up. But now let's figure out what the ball looks like. In this case, B of 0, 0 and 1, it's the set of Y1, Y2, where the distance between uh, Y1, Y2, and 0, 0, it's less than 1. So in other words, it's a set of all points, y1, y2, where the absolute value of y1 plus the absolute value of y2, it's less than 1. And let's figure out what this looks like. Well, in this case, what we have, we have y2, it's less than 1 minus y1, and in particular, what this means is that uh, y2, well, it's less than 1 minus absolute value of y1, but greater than uh, y1, or minus this, minus 1 minus y1. Okay, and let's see what this looks like in terms of a picture. So if you like, this is the uh, y1, y2 plane. Well, this is kind of like 1 minus absolute value of x, so it looks like that. And the other one is minus that, so it looks like that. So the inside is actually this diamond, or this square, centered at 0 and of kind of radius 1. So you see, with this taxicab metric, here the circle, which we had before, actually becomes a square. You might like, this is not a square, this is a diamond. Well, no problem. There's a metric for that as well. So, and that one is called the infinity metric. So example three, the infinity of x1, y, x2, and y1, y2. This time, instead of considering the sum of the legs, you're considering the biggest one of the legs. So y1 minus x1, and then y2 minus x2. So again, you have this triangle here between x1, x2, 
and y1, y2. And you're just considering the biggest leg, which in this case is here. All right, and again, let's see what this uh, ball looks like. So the ball centered at zero, zero, and radius one. It's again the set of all points, y1, y2, where d infinity of y1, y2, and zero, zero, is less than one. And that becomes uh, the set of points y1, y2, where the biggest one of absolute value of y1 and absolute value of y2 is less than one. But the only way the bigger of the values is less than one is if all the values are less than one. So this really means the set of all y1, y2, where both y1 is less than 1 in absolute value and y2 is less than 1 in absolute value. But then that's just the set of points y1, y2, where y1 is between minus 1 and 1 and y2 is between minus 1 and 1. So in the y1, y2 plane, this actually becomes a square a square with vertices, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, and uh, 1 minus 1, I think. 1 minus 1, uh, minus 1, minus 1, and minus 1, 1. How cool is that? So indeed, that disk or that circle you had before, and again, this includes excludes the boundary. So in other words, that disk or that circle you had before, in this case, actually becomes a square. And the neat thing is you can also generalize this to, of course, higher dimensions. So almost the same way as before, okay, you get the following. Well, in, uh, for the D2 metric, that uh, ball becomes the inside of that sphere. For the uh, D1 metric, in this case, the ball becomes kind of like a diamond. It's hard to draw, but kind of like this. Well, the stuff you see in video games kind of. Yeah. Kind of becomes a diamond like that. So between one minus absolute value of x minus absolute value of y, and minus that, and then also for the d infinity metric, in this case it actually becomes a box. At least that thing again with vertices one one one, etc. etc. Isn't that neat? I mean, in analysis is studying all those terms all at once, which is I think is very, very cool. Alright, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.